All right, today we're going to be talking about Airlift. Airlift is a speed optimization plugin and it's completely free. There's no catch. There's no nothing. You can use it on unlimited websites for free and that's it. And again, to confirm that there's no catch to it, the founder actually has confirmed that all the features in the free plan will be forever free and that's it. There's also a plan that is paid, but all you need is the free plan of this plugin to work on your website. I am saying this from the start because I know people are super interested in pricing and all that. So we are covered there. All right, so let's get into it. Let's get into the dashboard and see how this plays out. All right, before we start optimizing with Airlift, let's see how this website is doing in terms of speed on page speed insights so i'm gonna have a look let's analyze and let's see how bad it's doing right now okay so speed index 4.7 seconds that's not good and desktop a little bit better but could be better obviously so this web, as I said, this website has not been optimized almost at all. All right. So this is the homepage of Airlift. Okay. I'm going to log in, but you have to sign up if you don't have an account. So just go to sign up and go through the process. I'm going to log in here and connect with Google. All right. Log in and let's see what we can uh, do to fix our website. All right, so you are prompted directly to the site to see all the sites that you have optimized with Airlift. So if I go to this website, for example, because I have optimized it recently, I go there to check all the details of this website. All right, as you can see, it has been improved. I'm telling you it has been improved because if we go here to details, you will see the difference. So this site was a 30 score on mobile and after optimi optimization it reached a hundred score so if you go over everything here you will see that the page size went to 3.5 megabytes yes it was big and it's still big but this website has woocommerce has so much going on for it in the back end it's crazy so look at this i have actually optimized this website two hours ago and it's still optimizing page by page by page. So the process takes a long time. Do not be discouraged if the optimized site score shows lower because it keeps optimizing in the back end to bring it to speed, up to speed, <laughs> up to speed. Sounds really interesting. And yes, you can see here that many, many things have been improved and um yeah let's go to the speed speed index from zero to a hundred okay that sounds like the speed of a car <laughs> a, a sports car and a lot of other performance metrics have been improved as well so yeah pretty interesting so the lighthouse report shows us at 1.3 seconds time to interactive and speed index 1.1 i think it can be better we can get a better speed but of course as i said this keeps uh, updating and syncing in the background and optimizing obviously all right let's go to sites and i'm gonna add a new site and i'm gonna add this website that probably some of you know and out of the bat we are prompted to two plans so we have the free plan and the basic plan and the basic plan is 199 per site but if you look a little bit at, at the features of both side by side the difference is negligible because if you don't need white label that the basic plan offers and backups backup days you don't need the basic plan so just go with the free as i said it's all that you need. So if you don't have the plugin installed on your website, you have to manually install it. So you will download it from here. But if you have it installed, you just test the plugin. All right, so I'm gonna go to download and boom, it's downloaded. And I'm gonna go to, to add a new plugin, yeah? Go to upload plugin. 
and I'm gonna just drag my plugin just like that drop it in there and install and now it's I had a version a previous version of the plugin now it's replacing with the current activating the plugin so this is happening so we are getting our initializing optimization estimating time going on here so in it's going to take around four to five minutes for the site to be synced but we first need to get the estimate so as i said around five minutes so now this is going to go in the background and all this will start working and i'm gonna leave this on the screen so you guys can see what is happening but i'm gonna speed it up obviously because you know i don't want to bore you so i'll see you in a bit okay so this is a little bit strange it seems like the original site has been optimized a little bit not that much but let's just go to see what else has been done okay as you can see the optimization is still ongoing okay so do not freak out first of all request count 45 before and 14 now page size 1.6 megabytes to 651.6 megabytes this is in my amazing right so let's just go over everything let's just see what happened here and yeah it's still optimizing the pages and it's going to take some time as i showed you in the previous on the previous website it takes time so don't be discouraged by this score because this will change over time so uh, if you would go over everything it seems like a lot has been improved right but let's see our speed index so previously 63 and now it's 100 which is very interesting also our cls has gone a little bit up which, that's very strange i don't understand it what's what's that about <laughs> anyway nevertheless i think we are um doing very well so you can also see here a visual regression test basically you can see if there were there are differences between the previous and the now optimized page and they are now and that's good all right so let's go to our site let's go a little bit more in detail so if i go to details let's see what do we have here of course we have the same report here in terms of the optimization but let's go to lighthouse okay so lighthouse says that time to interactive is 1.0 seconds and speed index is 1.0 zero seconds which is exactly what we wanted my main concern is this i don't know what happened here but that needs to be investigated but in general i think our website has been quite well optimized so you have here some quick actions that you can do you can disable airlift if you don't want it on your website anymore you can purge cache but as you can see if you hover over it it says th that uh, you have to wait for the ongoing configuration which is means optimization to complete and re-optimize the site basically restart over restart the process so if you go to optimization settings here you can see that actually you have a more granular view over what you can optimize and what you can set in airlift to better serve your website so yes out of the box installed and done nothing else but just click some buttons here and there it works fantastic but you can do even an even better job for your website or on your website uh, in terms of speed if you go over all this so have a look try to see what you can change here for your website to work even better to to give it a bigger boost in terms of speed but yeah overall i think it's not too bad again disregard this score here because the website is still being optimized currently 
okay so let's go to page speed and let's give it another spin <laughs> to see what is going on what we are getting now and i think it's going to be what we have seen basically in airlift because it's pulling data from here yeah so it's basically that and yes it seems like the speed index here is 2.1 seconds on mobile let's see desktop it is 0 0.7 seconds i don't really understand how <laughs> but nevertheless my main worry is the cls why this has jumped so high it's something that needs to be investigated yeah but overall this i think is a great tool and it's something that you can have a look at and test it make sure that you test it on staging websites before you install it on client websites so you don't have any issues and test it thoroughly because it might interact with some plugins and you have to keep all this in mind all right if you have used airlift please let us know in the comments below how you liked it what issues you had with it what you loved about it everything and everything all the questions that you can think of leave them all in the comments below and the team behind airlift will get back to you as soon as possible and i'll see you next time